now desktop PC owner who's just a bit salty that PCs, for all their superior performance over laptops, are just incapable of connecting to a Wi-Fi signal. Well, if this is you, then you're in luck, because in today's video we'll be talking about wireless adapters. What these handy little devices do is basically enable your PC to connect to a Wi-Fi signal, be it from your router, a hotspot, or any other source. If you've got more than one PC in your home, chances are you've had to be very creative about getting the Ethernet cable to reach the second PC, even if it's in an adjacent room to the one with the router. So if you'd like to avoid potentially drilling holes in your walls, there's no device we could recommend more than a wireless adapter. Just plug it in and you're good to go. And to help set you on the right track, we'll be showcasing the 5 best wireless routers 2019 has to offer across all price ranges and connection types. So without any further ado, let's begin. First up, we have a very basic and inconspicuous adapter from Netgear, the A6100. It's basically just a USB stick with only the company logo and a WPS button on it, which makes it an excellent portable solution that you can swap between multiple devices. Plus, while they're most commonly used to bestow powers of Wi-Fi to a PC, wireless adapters also work wonders with laptops, with many models effectively increasing the range and stability of your signal your laptop picks up. The A6100 is a dual-band adapter meaning it operates on two Wi-Fi frequencies, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, with the former boasting a speed of 150 megabits per second and the latter 433 megabits per second. This is far from being a jaw-dropping speed, but it's still more than good enough for less performance-demanding users. The adapter also uses beamforming technology, which makes the signal that much stronger and more stable. And as we've mentioned, it's got WPS, so connecting to your network is just a simple button press away. Overall, the AC 6100 is a very handy choice for anyone that's not looking to take their Wi-Fi game to the next level. Just make sure your router is also dual band because otherwise you'll effectively only have the 150 megabits per second speed to contend with. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more powerful, then the Netgear Nighthawk A7000 may just be the thing for you. It's a far less inconspicuous device, to put it mildly, what with the bulky main body and the concealed external antennae, but it more than makes up for it with its performance. In terms of speed, it stands at an impressive 1.9 gigabits divided into 600 and 1300 megabits per second between the two frequencies. Plus, it still uses beamforming in addition to the four antennae we've mentioned, making it one of the most stable and powerful long-range connections. The concealed external antennae are foldable, meaning that the adapter will take up far less space when it's not being used. Plus, you get to decide how to use it, as you can either plug it in directly into a USB port, or you can attach it to the magnetic cradle that comes with it and plug the cradle in. This clever design makes it so that you can place the A7000 wherever you see fit, despite the bulky exterior. Now, granted, this isn't exactly a budget-friendly wireless adapter as far as adapter prices go but it sure does make the extra bucks worth it. So the only thing that it has going against it is that, like all Nighthawk products, the design can be problematic for those who appreciate a more minimalistic aesthetic. The Belkin N300 is an adapter more akin to the A6100 than anything else. It has the same USB stick design with all of its portability prospects and the WPS button for added convenience. So what sets it apart? Well, it's a much more humble solution, that's for sure. It's a single band adapter operating at 300 megabits per second using the dated 802.11n wireless technology. Is it good? Well, on a technical level, it's certainly not the best. But if you're looking for the most budget-friendly solution and this performance is within the ballpark of what you need, then it's fantastic. Granted, it doesn't use beamforming, so it won't land you the most stable signal at long distances, but then again, it'll only set you back $7. See, the only problem that remains are the dated drivers. The official drivers for the N300 don't fully support Windows 10, which is the version of Windows we assume most of you are using. And as always, this means that there's no guarantee that the device will function properly. All in all, the N300 is a niche product, but we can easily see situations where it's also the optimal choice, and this at a very affordable price. 
Now another thing that's important when it comes to wireless adapters is to make the distinction between internal and external adapters. The previous models were all external ones, meaning that they used a USB port. The TP-Link Archer T9e, however, is the first of the two internal wireless routers we'll be talking about in this video. Now what this means is that it uses a PCI Express slot to connect directly to the motherboard. Obviously, this holds some implications. Like all devices that can be connected either via USB or PCI Express ports, it has a health your connection speed when connected to the ladder. To lay down the specs for you, the Archer T9e is a dual band router with a maximum throughput of 1.9 gigabits, of which 600 megabits per second contribute towards the 2.4 gigahertz band and the rest towards the 5 gigahertz brand. In addition to the three external antennae, the adapter also uses beamforming for the most optimal connection stability. If you're looking for high-end performance, then only the last model on this list can top the Archer T9e. As for its shortcomings, it doesn't really have any. Just remember that it's incompatible with laptops since you need to plug the adapter directly into the motherboard and of course, it's not the most affordable adapter in this video. And how better to close off this list than with Asus's very own PCE AC88. If you have an absolute beast of wireless router and need an adapter that can keep up with the pace, then you'll be astounded by what Asus has to offer. It's an unusual adapter to say the least, with a PCI Express card that's separate from the main body of the adapter and connected via four RSMA cables. The external base that hosts the adapter's four detachable antennae is magnetized and can be easily placed wherever you see fit, so long as the cable length allows it, of course. So not only is finding the optimal placement for the adapter never an issue, but you can also replace the antennae separately should some of them get damaged, which is definitely a welcome feature in an adapter this expensive. As for how fast the Wi-Fi is, let's just say that it has over 3 gigabits of speed to divide between the two frequencies. This means that even the lower 2.4 gigahertz band can handle an upwards of 1000 megabits per second, while the 5 gigahertz band gets to work with an impressive 2100 megabits per second. It's the best of the best. But that's exactly why it's not an adapter for everyone. You have to have an incredibly fast router to even consider buying this in the first place. And even then, it can be somewhat of a waste of money unless you really plan on getting the most out of it. Still, if unprecedented Wi Fi speed is what you're looking for, then the PCE AC88 will not disappoint. Now all that's left is to decide which adapter is the best for you. And to help you with that, we've prepared a few tips that you should keep in mind when shopping for a wireless adapter, be it from this video or not. Basically, all you have to do is consider five points and you'll have a great estimate of what your wireless adapter should provide. The five points are, number one, your internet connection speed. Number two, which Wi-Fi technology your router uses. Number three, how many beds does your router operate on? Number four, how do you want to connect the adapter? And number five, how strong can you expect your signal to be? So let's briefly go over over these five points. With regards to your connection speed, you should obviously take care not to get an adapter that can't keep up with the speed your router is dishing out. But even more importantly, you don't want to get an adapter that's way faster than your router. If your adapter can support gigabit wireless transfer speeds, but you have a 10 megabit ADSL connection, then you're just wasting money. As for the Wi-Fi technology that your router uses, you should really only expect to encounter 802.11ac and 802.11n technologies in this day and age. They're both fully backwards compatible, so it's not too big of an issue if the adapter and the router don't match. But 11AC is the newer and significantly faster technology. What's much more important is to take into consideration whether you have a single or a dual band router. If you have a single band router, then there is absolutely no use in getting a dual band adapter, as the higher frequency will literally be doing nothing. Additionally, you should weigh the pros and cons of both USB and PCI Express adapters. The former are a bit slower but much more portable, while the latter have a faster and more stable signal, but also usually cost more and may lead to some incompatibility issues since you're much more likely to have an unoccupied USB port than a free PCI Express port. Of course, if you're a laptop user, then you don't have to worry about this choice at all. And finally, there is the matter of how powerful and stable a signal you can expect the adapter to provide. This will depend mostly on the type and number of antennae the adapter has. Internal antennae are much more inconspicuous, but they don't 
they'll make for as stable a signal as external antennae do. Also, the more antennae there are, the better off you'll be. We have to emphasize, however, that internal antennae aren't bad at what they do. They're just better off used where there aren't too many walls between them and the router. One wall they can handle, multiple, not so much. So just remember to follow these steps before finalizing the purchase and you can't go wrong. And that about does it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as you'll enjoy your new Wi-Fi adapter. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and more videos like this one are on their way, so keep your eyes peeled for them. Or better yet, click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as they're up. Also, make sure to check out our guide for the best Wi-Fi routers if you want to build the ultimate Wi-Fi setup. Link is in the description. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.